We've detected an anomaly in the Azure Nebula. Because of the Tholian activity in that area, we're concerned they may be attempting to open a rift to the Mirror Universe. I need a ship to go out there and check it out. Do you have a question? My name is Franklin Drake. I was born on a little colony world on the edge of Cardassian space. After the Federation fell to the Klingons, a lot of people moved out of the war zones to try to make new lives. It worked. For a while. When the Bajorans discovered that wormhole and the Dominion invaded, no world, no matter how remote, was safe. I signed on to help fight the Dominion. For all the good that did. The Dominion swallowed the Bajorans whole and then joined up with the Breen and the Cardassians to destroy the Klingons and the Romulans. After that, it was just a matter of carving up the Alpha Quadrant. The Tholians got this piece of space in exchange for signing a non-aggression pact with the Dominion. 
It wasn't hard to see that the only way to survive was to sign on. Now I'm like you. I work for the Tholians, and in exchange I get a cot, a couple of replicated meals, and the chance to live for one more day. The little luck I'll get through tomorrow, too. Do you need anything else? Thank you, Captain. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomeek soup. It almost tastes like something. Do you need anything else? Hello. For all I know, you could be informing on me to the Tholians. <sighs> but if I don't answer, you'll probably tell them I'm hiding something. Fine. My name is Deton. I was born on Romulus. After the war, I signed on to a freighter crew working the Bolian run. My captain got in trouble with the Tholians, and I ended up here. I'm a true and loyal servant of the Tholians, and I don't want any trouble. Now go away and leave me alone. I have work to do. Don't bother me. too bright in here. Why? Why would you care about me? No one cares about me. I don't even care anymore. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Have we met? You're just asking to be polite, aren't you? I find idle chatter so tedious these days. Still, it's a way to pass the time. My name is Rugen Skyle. I used to be a member of the Cardassian government until I had a conflict with a rival faction. Politics on my world can be quite cutthroat. Now I'm here. It's better than execution, but only just. The food here is terrible, and the company <laughs> is worse. Another question? Yes. My name is Tanae, and for many years I served in Starfleet. After the war was lost, I joined a resistance movement attempting to liberate 
the core worlds. We failed. We were able to keep the Klingons at bay, but not the Dominion and their allies. After the Breen destroyed Earth and the Dominion occupied Beta Z, continued resistance was illogical. Against all reason, we continued our fight as our resistance cells fell, one by one. You might say I was one of the fortunate ones. I survived. I would not agree. Do you require... How can I assist you? I'm Valkel Sean, captain of the Belfast. I run freight for the Tholians. Basic supplies, mostly. But once in a while, they need me to pick up dilithium from the mines on Remus. We're in dock here for a few days, getting some repairs done. Cut too close to the Konos blast zone on my last trip back, and ran into some raiders. They won't trouble anyone again. But they fused half my power conduits and fried the deflector before I managed to take them out. If there's anything else you... I will be free. My name is Obasek. Once my people served the Romulans. Now we have new masters. I will serve for now, because to refuse would be my death. But when the time is right, we'll rise up against our oppressors and destroy them. If you would be free, watch for an opportunity. The Tholians will show their weakness soon enough. Do not waste my time. We need your help. My name is Tasha Yar. I was Chief Tactical Officer of the USS Enterprise-D. In my timeline, we were fighting a war against the Klingons, and I was proud to do my part to protect the Federation. What I learned, though, in the correct timeline, history as it should be, I died a meaningless death. I accepted the risks when I put on the uniform, and I don't regret what happened. But if I'm going to die, I want it to mean something. That's why I chose to go back with the Enterprise C. I know this is a... What do you want? My name is Bavat. Before the Tholians conquered the Empire, I was the leader of a great house. I sat on the High Council and spoke for the Empire on more than a dozen worlds. None of that matters now. The past is nothing to a slave. I will die here in service to the Tholians, just like you will. Ask your question! You looking for something? I'm Farrakh. Wheeling and Din is my game. At least it was, until the webheads put a stop to any trade that doesn't benefit them. Still, I know how to get a few things. You looking for bonus replicator rations? Maybe a bottle of authentic pre-war Romulan ale? If you've got something to trade, I've got what you need. This place isn't what it's supposed to be. My name is Neelan. I'm an Alorian. Some people would call me a wanderer. I go from place to place, listening to the universe, to the people. And then I look at you and this place and I can't explain it, but it's wrong. All of it. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Something's not right here. I can't... 
can't see it clearly. I just know that something is wrong. That woman over there, does she have a daughter? Someone named Sila. I know that's important, uh, but there are a lot of other things. Uh, I'm sorry, it's difficult to put into words. What I can tell you is that if someone asks for your help, give it. That will set things right. Something's not right here. I haven't seen you around here before, Captain. Got a minute to talk? Call me Castillo. Not a lot to tell, I guess. I'm Lieutenant J.G. Richard Castillo, helm officer of the USS Enterprise C, an unwilling time traveler. I'm normally the helm officer, but I'm senior officer now that Captain Garrett and the rest of the senior staff are gone got to do what the captain would want. Get us back to where we belong, and finish what we set out to do. I know this is hard to... I know. I asked around about you, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew, we were supposed to do something important. We went through an anomaly, moved through time, and everything changed. We tried to go back. I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. You have to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. Me and my crew. There are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my math. We were fighting the Romulans. This was back in 2344. And the weapons discharges caused a temporal rift. We passed through. And because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war. And the Federation was losing. Badly. We tried to go back to set things right. But then the Klingons found us and the Enterprise D and... There's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe she can help explain this. Got a minute to talk? We need your help. I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well. So is the Klingon Empire. When the Enterprise C moved ahead in time, it created an alternate timeline, one in which I was alive but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things right. We thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from... 
we ended up in this nebula in 2409. The Tholians caught us before we could try again, and you can guess the rest. We're going to try to restore the timeline, but to do so, we need the Enterprise C. It's still in the hangar here, and as soon as we get back to her, we'll find the temporal rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be. To do that, we need your help. Franklin Drake is already helping us. He managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. <sighs> I'd go myself, but we've already been here a week. The Tholians know we're trying to get back to the ship. They're watching us. But you're new. They won't suspect you're involved. That's the idea, at least. Of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnels. From there, it's a winding maze to the hangar control room, which can only be unlocked from the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the Enterprise. Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor, and it'll allow me to contact you while you're on the move. Maybe you can convince someone to cause a distraction. That might make slipping past the guards into the tunnels easier. What do you want? My name is... Ask your question! Do you have a question? Take it. Here's a map, too. You'll need it in the tunnels. I still don't know why I'm risking my neck for this. Don't expect any more help from me. The Federation fell before I was born. I shouldn't even care, but... There's something about Yar and Castillo. I know they believe they can make a difference. It makes me want to believe. Do you need anything else? What do you want? The Klingon warrior you will have. I have longed to fight our alien overseers in single combat. Today is that day. For honor, for glory, for the Empire! For the Empire! For honor! For glory! Today is a good day!
Well done. Those maintenance tunnels are a maze. They make navigating the Jeffries tubes on the Enterprise look easy. I recommend using the map to keep track of where you've been, what doors lead away from which room, and where you are currently. The Tholians will send someone to investigate. We don't have much time. I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system offline. I'm also fairly confident that with enough time, I can release the docking clamps holding the ship, or take down the Tholians' web shielding. We don't have much time. I am here to assist. What? My first posting in Starfleet was to an Ambassador-class vessel. I am familiar with most of the ship's systems, but I spent several months working on a refit of the ship's computer. I am confident 
I can restore the ship's power levels quickly. Also, I do have some experience with Tholian technology from my time in the Resistance. If you prefer, I could attempt to deactivate the web shield or tractor beams. I am here to assist. What Priming do you Priming clamp hydraulics. We need to work together. What do you want? I was the helm officer on the Enterprise before everything went to hell. But I'm really handy with heavy machinery, like those clamps holding the ship. I know I can take care of those and get us free. If you need me to do something else, maybe I could work on that web shield. It will need to come down before we can fly out of here. Or the ship's power. I know every inch of the old girl. If I could figure out the Tholian interface, I might be able to connect to the ship and restore the power remotely. I'll need to override need the security to work together. lockout. What there. do you want me to do? Releasing docking clamps now. I thought you deactivated all the security protocols. Do you want me to do that for you? I know a few things about force fields. Having trouble? You do know that we could have Tholians swarming us any minute, right? I thought we took care of everything. Starfleet Protocol 547C clearly states... I don't think the Tholians have heard of Protocol 547C. She's quite a ship. It's too bad we'll have to sacrifice her to restore the timeline.
Captain, I'm detecting Tholian mesh weavers headed for our position. Tholian orb weavers on an inner Tholian recluses moving into weapons range, sir. I recommend evasive action. Tholian tarantula on sensor. nowhere and destroyed that Tholian tarantula. I've never seen a ship of that configuration. Or what? Looks like it could use We took a hit. The phasers are partially offline. We'll need to work together to take out this last ship. The way is clear, and the temporal anomaly has been stabilized. Head for the anomaly, Enterprise. It will put you back where you need to be. That's my job. The details aren't important. Restoring the timeline is. Get moving. The Tholians are already starting to regroup. I'm sure you've realized by now, you're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise C, and compromise that timeline as well. We'll send you back to your time. There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. As soon as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself.
There wasn't anything there? That's strange. 